Good evening, YouTube. Derek here, Hardball Crazy, coming with video. Um, today, um, you see by the title of the uh, video, I'm going to show you a few cards, but uh, I have thoughts on Barry Bonds and baseball, and the, not, not so much the hobby, but baseball and, and now in the future. And just me thinking out loud, it might be uh, some might think this is outlandish, some might think this is. Um, uh, who don't like Barry Bonds, and rightfully so. He was a bit of a jerk, and he's a PEDs and all that stuff. So uh, I was watching a, um, a ESPN game a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and they interviewed Barry Bonds via phone, like, for a couple innings. And it was a pretty cool interview and everything, and it got me thinking. Um, we all grew up knowing that Ted Williams probably is the greatest hitter of all time, and he had rolled the book of art of hitting, and and it's pretty much he was the, the guru of baseball hitters. You know, everybody like you want to learn how to be a baseball hitter, you learn you get you learn from Ted Williams either via book, via inter, uh, interviews, or just watch him hit and whatnot. Usually, if you want to become a great hitter, just learn from Ted Williams. See, he's like the all-knowing man. So. He's passed away, obviously. Rest in peace, Mr. Williams. Uh, who is the guru now? Who is the living player now who would you want to go to and learn how to hit? Um, of course, Tony Quinn's passed away. Um, there's guys out there, you know, like a Rod Cruz and Pete Roses and Ichiro, stuff like that. But I'm kind of looking for more of a guy who's got power and hit discipline. Um, of course, there's guys like... Um, Hank Aaron, but he's, you know, in his 80s or so. So moving forth, and there's the language barrier between a, a, uh, Ichiro and a uh, Miggy Cabrera. Uh, Albert Pujols, Pujols probably, but um, I'm thinking Barry Bonds is the guy. If you want to uh, learn about hitting and just everything about hitting, if you want to become a great hero, he's like the go-to guy hitting guru of course he has to put himself out there to become that um, he's got to be you know be in the public eye and wants to teach and want to be out there but I think he's the elite he's the guy who's like stand above everybody else knows about hitting and the little nuances about hitting like Ted Williams was like he's in a class of his own um, his old story that um, when the All-Star Games way back in the 50s or so, and Mickey Mantle was talked to Ted Williams in the, in the dugout during an All-Star game or All-Star, and uh, and Ted Williams asked Mickey Mantle, do you do this and this and this when you're hitting? And Mickey Mantle goes, I don't know. I just hit the ball and blah, blah, blah. And he got the, after the All-Star break, Mickey Mantle tried to thought of things that Ted Williams said, and he went for like an 0 for 15 slump or something like that, like his biggest slump he ever had, one of the big slumps he ever had. Because he was listening to Ted Williams and trying to do the things that Ted Williams does. And Ted Williams was just on a different level than everybody else. It's sort of the same way I think I with Barry Bonds. I remember seeing, I saw an uh, interview on like a podcast. I think it was Dexter Fowler. And he's trying to teach him how to hit the ball the other, to the left field as a left-handed batter. And, and Fowler says, here, hit, Bonds has told Fowler, hit these targets in the left, in the left, uh, left field. And he hit a few of them, and he was kind of keep on rolling balls over the, in the, uh, down the first base line. And Bonds says, "Try hit the targets. Try hit the targets." And he's like, "I'm trying, trying." to Bonds comes up to bat up to it. And this is like after he's retired and everything, and he's hitting, he's hitting uh, uh, the target left and all over the place. And Fowler's just like, "Okay, I can't do this. I'm not uh, Barry Bonds, but he's got the." A level of expertise a level of all that the rest of even the best hitters have so my thoughts I think is Barry Bonds could be that hitting guru if you looked at uh, Ted Williams and uh, Barry Bonds swings uh, back to back right next to each other they're very very similar and I think Bonds knows all the nuances of uh, hitting um, yes he was a jerk and everything but to be honest Ted Williams was, I think, well liked as a player, but he became more beloved as a uh, when he was retired. All, of course, it helps when he hit 400 and Hall of Famer and award here and all that, and uh, his induction ceremony and all that. But um, if Bonds puts himself out there, I think he can uh, 
be a, the the healing guru for years to come and be the the man to teach baseball hitting and stuff. Of course, he would want to do it. With that, my little thoughts on Barry Bonds. You might think I, was, I might be nuts, but heck, I'm just thinking out loud. I will. I thought I'd like expand on my Barry Bonds collection, so I picked up a few Barry Bonds cards. First of all, I picked up the 98 Top Stars. This is the gold parallel. That's numbered to uh, 2299. I think these uh, gold, especially the gold and silver, where the, the, to pick up these stars and Hall of Famers, you can pick up these pretty cheap. And they're numbered, and I think they're pretty good uh, cards for the price. Also picked up 2007 Tops, card number 661. I didn't collect much 2007 Topps base cards. Why is this um, card a little more premium? That was just like a factory set only thing. I'm not sure. Anybody who's collected this back then or Nate five fuck four hundred one, you probably know. Why is this a little bit more premium than the regular base 2007 Topps? Topps Tiffany '96 Fleer. Nice looking card. '94 uh, Collector's Choice Gold Signature. He's dirt cheap compared to, I picked this up less than 20 bucks with shipping or so. And with the level of starter and the, the rest of the gold, I think is pretty eagle. Got the, him and his old San Francisco Seals uh, throwback unis from the Seals of the Pacific Coast League. I always like the, I think the 94 Collector's Choice is a gold signature is a great uh, parallel set. Now, I got the 96 SPX Gold. Now if you can see, pick it up, there's the very innovative set in the 90s. And the last card I got is a very rare oddball. Actually, I didn't even buy this card. I think I got it, I got it free for one of these cards. I think just, you know, sometimes they send cards in as like a buffer or just throw another card in for the sale. Well, this was it, and this is a very oddball set. Never even heard of this set. If you guys from, the, I think this is a West Coast only um, food issue set. If you guys know any knowledge, this is a 1990 Jumbo Sunflowers. Barry Bonds card with a, obviously no uh, license Pirates uniform. This is just a California thing. Sunflower Jumbo Sunflower Seeds. So I got this card. So that's my Barry Bonds thoughts. My Barry Bonds um, pickups. I'll be looking to get some other ones. Looking at mostly some Topps Golds. I think the refractors are uh, a little out of the price range. Maybe some um, Allen Ginter Minis. Maybe some uh, Select Artist Proofs and stuff like Dennis uh, Studio Artist Proofs. Some Topps Tiffany's and stuff like that. It's a bit base tops chromes. Some um, I don't want to pick up just the common Fleer and Tops Donruss from the 90s. It's um, that everybody has. I'm trying to pick up some cards as value, but that's my Barry Bonds pickups, my Barry Bonds thoughts. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.